Hi everyone, in this video we are going to show you how the Viaflow 96 384 electronic pipette can make DNA purification with magnetic beads faster, less error prone and more reproducible. DNA purification with magnetic beads involves bringing samples and beads together to begin the DNA binding process. After washing away the impurities, the DNA is eluted from the beads and is then ready to be used. To start the process of using the Viaflow 96 electronic pipette together with magnetic beads, you need to have the following ready. Magnetic beads. Of course, for this protocol we are using MPUXP beads. Samples. For this protocol we have got a 96 well plate filled in each well with 10 microliter of samples to be purified. Magnet. This 96 well ring magnet has a standard plate footprint which allows it to be used in a Viaflow 96. 70% ethanol as well as the elution buffer. And naturally, we'll be using the Viaflow 96 384 base unit, together with a 96 Shanne head with a volume range of 5 to 125 microliter. In this particular protocol, we'll be using the three positioning stage. We will be working with low retention sterile filter tips. The steps needed to run this procedure are saved as one single custom program called MPUXPM on the Viaflow 96. It contains all the necessary volumes, prompts and heights. To start, the magnetic beads need to be transferred into 12 PCR tubes using a single channel 1250 microliter Viaflow electronic pipette and the repeat dispense program, adding 154 microliter per tube. Afterwards, a 50 microliter 12 channel Viaflow pipette can be used to transfer 18 microliter of the beads from the PCR tubes into a 96 well plate, which has already been filled with 10 microliter of the desired samples. Now we are ready to transfer the sample plate to the Viaflow 96 to begin the purification process. The setup should look like this. The left position, or A, should have grip tips. The middle position, or AB, has the 96 well plate with beads loaded and the right position, or B, has the magnet. The screen tells the user what the next step is, so all that's needed is the user to move the instrument to the labware. There is no chance of crashing, since the MPUXP program has already defined what the bottom of the specific labware is, and the tips are always guided into the correct position. First, the beads and samples are mixed thoroughly to ensure a homogeneous mix, and left to incubate for five minutes for binding. Afterwards, the sample plate is transferred to the magnet on position B and given two minutes to allow the beads to separate from the solution. Now, the supernatant is collected using a very slow speed. The height of the aspiration, like all others in the protocol, is already defined in order to prevent bead carryover and avoid wasting sample. After placing an automation-friendly reservoir on position AB, the supernatant can be dispensed into it for waste. Next, the washing steps can begin. Before starting, fresh tips are electronically loaded after the used ones are ejected. The tip rack is removed and in its place the reservoir containing 70% ethanol is added. Before we begin pipetting with ethanol, it is important to pre-wet the tips with ethanol first to help prevent dripping tips, since ethanol can be tricky to pipe it. Here the low retention tips really help as well. Once pre-wetting is finished, the three positioning stage is slid to the left and the ethanol is then transferred to the samples. After an incubation period of 30 seconds, the supernatant is once again removed and, as before, the perfect height is already exactly defined. It is then discarded in the waste reservoir. This washing procedure is then repeated again, using new tips. After the second washing, it is especially important to remove all ethanol from the sample before continuing. With the washing finished, Sample elution can now begin. The sample plate is removed from the magnet and placed on position AB. And after loading new tips, the elution buffer in the reservoir is placed on position A.
40 microliter of the illusion buffer is then added to the sample plate and mixed together thoroughly in order to homogeneously resuspend the beads. Afterwards, the plate is allowed to incubate for two minutes in order for the DNA to unbind from the beads. Then, the sample plate is placed back on the magnet for one minute so that the beads can separate. As this is happening, an empty 96 well illusion plate for the purified DNA sample is placed on position AB and new tips are loaded one last time. With these new tips, 40 microliter of the illuate is collected from the sample plate with the correct height pre-programmed to eliminate bead carryover. And dispensed into the target illusion plate. Now we are finished. 96 samples of the purified DNA ready for further processing. For those who prefer level of automation, the Wireflow 96 can also be run in automatic mode, which further minimizes the interaction of the user from the purification protocol. This is especially useful in tight spaces, for example, if being run under a laminar flow. In addition, if you're not working with 96 samples at one time, the Wireflow 96 is able to also work with less tips loaded, giving the ability to purify a smaller number of samples. The entire pipetting protocol is available for download from our website.